the dream I know Deep up my feelings for you Indigenous people of Biafra has risen along with that the head of their leader, Mazinam De Kalo, is fast deteriorating, so they are calling for his unconditional release. Even after this, we have the leadership of the Labour Party has condemned the removal of Senator Ali Ndumi as the chief whip of the Senate. But before we proceed, welcome back to my wonderful channel, Reality Letters, this is your home of news and politics. Thank you so much for joining us. So if today is your first time of watching, kindly subscribe, like, comment, share, but don't forget to turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our video. To all amazing subscribers, thank you so much for joining us. To all our viewers, thank you so much for joining us. So guys, let's proceed. The indigenous people of Biafra raised an alarm that the head of their leader, Mazinam De Kalu, is directing. So they are calling for Mazinam De Kalu unconditional release. The pro Biafra group, in their statement by their media and publicity secretary, Ima Powerful, warned that the life of Mazinam De Kalu is in danger in the solitary confinement of the Department of State Services in Abuja. The separatist group alleged that the Nigerian government is internationally provoking IPOB by Mazinam De Kalu's continued detention. So now they don't come warn against the danger of anything. If should anything happen to Mazinam De Kalu while in captivity, they say they don't go take a lightly with the people. So right now, the global family and movement of the indigenous people of Biafara, that is led by their resolute leader Mazinam De Oku Kalu, once again, has called for the unconditional release of their leader from DSS solidarity confinement over his deteriorating health condition. The thing will be said that they talk now, be say. Nigeria government is intentionally provoking IPOB by refusing to release their leader, even when the Nigeria and international courts have ordered for his unconditional release. So IPOB wishes to retaliate that the life of Mazinam De Kalu is in danger in the solitary confinement of the DSS in Abuja. So they have presently called on the Nigeria government to release their leader as both international and local law institutions have ordered his release. Many prominent Nigeria religious traditional and political leaders including 50 members of the national assembly have equally called for the release of Mazinam Degal but President Bolema Tinubu government has refused to listen to the voice of reason by refusing to you know release Mazinam Degal just like his predecessor Buhari. President Bolema Tinubu has discontinued similar cases of terrorism and treason charges against two Yoruba activists and a Fulani military leader. In the case of an Igbo man on armed freedom activist Mazinam Dekalu. This same President Bola Metunubu's government has vehemently refused to release Mazinam Dekalu. Unlike the President Bola Metunubu government, these continued cases of the Yoruba activists and fallen terrorists without any court judgment. They are enumerating all these injustices to demonstrate that the federal government of Nigeria is intentionally provoking the anger of IPOB and Ndibo. So the IPOB has maintained a non-violent approach in the Biafra struggle, irrespective of the high-handedness of the Nigerian government against Biafra activists. Mazin and is seriously sick and must be released unconditionally from the DSS solidarity confinement for him to treat himself before something unpredictable and unimaginable happened to him. I make IPO become the third prison bullet to the administration. That if anything happened to Mazinam De Kalu, that Nigeria would not be the same if anything happened to him. In fact, Nigeria will cease to be if anything untoward happened to Mazinam De Kalu. Did he want President Bola Metunubu administration? Say so may they release Mazinam De Kalu. Because this country not will contain them. They have been quiet all this while, thinking that Mazinam De Kalu will be released. But ought to no avail. Even when the international courts and the local courts have already seek for Mazinam De Kalu unconditional release, yet they are still keeping him in detention. <laughs> My people, I would like to know what I think about this matter in the comment section. I would like to hear from now once again. Thank you so much for staying to us. Moving on to the next one. The leadership of the Labour Party has condemned the removal of Senator Ali Ndumi as the chief whip of the Senate on Wednesday. Following his sack, Ali Ndumi was immediately replaced by Senator Representative Brandon North. Taha Moguno. Ali Ndume replacement by the Senate followed a directive issue to that effect in a letter written by the National Chairman of the Party, Umar Ganduji, and National Secretary Senator Bashe Ajibola. The request was put to voice vote by the Senate President, Godwin Ababio, and loudly affirmed by all the APC senators. So, reacting to that development, in a statement issued in Abuja on Wednesday, 
the National Publicity Secretary of Labour Party, Obiora Ivo, expressed concern that speaking the truth to power is gradually becoming a crime in this country. According to him, he said the humiliation of Ali Dume by Senator Goswami Lakpabio led Senate has portrayed the dictatorial inclination of the ruling of Progressive Congress. He said the crime of Senator Ali Dume was his bold expression of his concern regarding the escalating cost of living and food scarcity in Nigeria and his revelation that President Bola Metinobu has chosen to play the ostrich even in the face of acute starvation being witnessed in Nigeria. He no talk bad. People are suffering. A lot of people are dying because of hunger, because they can barely feed. He just come out to express himself. <laughs> so the Labour Party said that the diversion this administration has taken is grave. That a few months ago, Senator Abdul Nenji exposed the wrath in the government where the Senate leadership and the executive collaborators allegedly padded the budget that got him suspended and intimidated out of his lawful representative role as a senator. So it is needless talking about the economic crisis ongoing in Nigeria, even where a few Kaba members are massively enriching themselves. The National Bureau of Statistics recently said that food inflation has risen to 40.66%. Even with all these glaring challenges, the government is said to have paid about $150 billion for a presidential jet and building roads that have no direct bearing on the economic crisis in Nigeria. So the media practitioner are recalling into their shade for fear of reporting the fact about this government, for fear of emasculation and incarceration. Honestly, this is a tyranny of a cabal against a legislative autonomy. Nigeria is gradually descending to the dictatorship. That is why Labour Party are calling on the citizens to be on alert and put up a defense against the starvation weapon being deployed by this administration. A lot of people will talk say, what Ali Dume do is right because he has sympathy for the citizens. He has seen a lot of people being starved, a lot of people, you know, not capable of purchasing things for themselves because of the high cost of living this administration has brought upon us. But the senator saying that he has a platform of the Senate that is in the platform of federal government, that he would have as well placed his request there or complaints instead of coming out to call on President Bola Metinobu and even went ahead to say that President Bola Metinobu is being caged. Now that's in the pain APC. <laughs> so my people, I go like know what you think about this matter in our comment section. I go like hear from Ona. Once again, thank you so much for staying to with us. We really do appreciate. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. To like, come join us. Stay safe, guys.